I never liked fake sugars. I always thought they were disgusting. But I remember as a kid, the sweet and low packets used to say in red letters, because at the cafeteria in school, we'd always be like, dude, that's crazy. It says, this has been shown to cause cancer in laboratory animals. And all the junior high and high school, they had red letters and a warning on sweet and low. This causes cancer in laboratory animals. At some point, they removed that. So they didn't change their ingredients, but Sweet and Low now doesn't have to tell you that lab animals get cancer from eating it. It's probably because somebody wrote a check to someone and said, hey, can we get that off? That's not good for our sales. Exactly. We don't need people. We don't need kids or adults reading the little letters about this giving cancer to mammals. Let's just leave that off and put the Sweet and Low back on the table. I try to tell people too, when it comes to looking at things from an entertainment perspective, whether it's music or film, the digital age has allowed these industries to pivot and evolve and survive once physical has gone away.